Hey guys, I want to share with you a calculus word problem. If we have two cars, a red sports car convertible and a blue hatchback, and they're 10 kilometers apart. And then the red convertible sports car heads directly south at a constant rate of one kilometer per minute. So let's measure the distance between the two cars and let's call that X. When is the distance between the cars growing at a rate of half a kilometer per minute? First, I wanted to explore it without calculus. We can make a table where we have time, the distance X, and then the average rate of X. So we can put down various times for all the minutes from zero to six. And then at the time zero minutes, this sports car is up here. And the distance X between the two cars is exactly 10 kilometers. And then after one minute passes, the convertible sports car gets down here and it has traveled one kilometer. So to find X, we're gonna have to do Pythagorean theorem. We have one squared plus 10 squared is equal to X squared. One squared is one, 10 squared is 100, and one plus 100 is 101. After we square root both sides, we get X is equal to the square root of 101. And that is approximately 10.05 kilometers. So now we can find the average rate for that first minute. Let's shift all this stuff down. They were originally 10 kilometers apart, and after one minute, they were 10.05 kilometers apart. That means the average rate for that first minute was 0.05 kilometers per minute. And then after two minutes, the convertible sports car will be two kilometers down this way. So we can do a Pythagorean theorem again. We'll get square root of 104, which is approximately 10.20 kilometers. So that means that the average rate for the second minute was 0.15 kilometers per minute. And then we can keep doing this and finding out all these different distances for X. And then we can find the differences to get the average rate of X for each of those one minute intervals. And if we focus on this last one here, we can see that the average rate of X for that fifth minute to sixth minute mark was approximately 0.48 kilometers per minute. We wanna know when is the exact rate of X equal to 0.5. In this one minute interval, some of it was slower than this and some of it was faster. I suspect that the exact moment it was going 0.5 was somewhere between the fifth and sixth minute. So let's do the calculus to find out. We're gonna call the exact rate of X dx dt. And for this video, I'm just gonna call it X prime. So ultimately we wanna know when is x prime equal to 0.5 and i'm going to throw down a guess of somewhere between five and six minutes i'm putting the guess in an orange box so now let's call the distance that the red convertible sports car travels y and we can use the pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared where a is equal to 10 b is equal to y and c is equal to x first thing i want to find out what is y as a function of x Let's make 10 squared equal to 100 and subtract 100 from both sides. That'll give us y squared is equal to x squared minus 100. After we square root both sides, we get y is equal to the square root of x squared minus 100. And now we have y as a function of x. This looks important. Let's put a box around it. And this is where the calculus starts. We're going to take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to time. The derivative of 100 is 0. And then we're going to add to that the derivative of y squared, which is going to be 2y times y prime. And then the derivative of x squared is going to be 2x times x prime. Let's divide both sides by 2, and we get y, y prime is equal to x, x prime. And y prime is the rate at which y grows, but well, we know that it's a fixed rate of one kilometer per minute. So we can plug in one for y prime. And then for x prime, I want to know when does x prime equal 0.5. So let's plug in 0.5 for x prime. Now we have y is equal to 0.5x. And if you remember earlier, y was equal to the square root of x squared minus 100. So we can substitute that in right here for y. Next, I want to get rid of this square root, so let's square both sides of the equation. The left-hand side, the root and the square will cancel to give us x squared minus 100. And on the right-hand side, the 0.5 and the x both get the squared, and 0.5 squared is equal to 0.25. So now we have x squared minus 100 equals 0.25x squared. We can subtract x squared from both sides, and we end up with negative 100 equals negative 0.75x squared. And then we can divide both sides by negative 0.75. On the right hand side these cancel so we have x squared and on the left hand side negative 100 over negative 0.75 is 400 over 3. We can square root both sides and this square root can go to both the top and the bottom and the square root of 400 is equal to 20. And on the right hand side the square root of x squared is x. That means that at the moment when x prime is equal to 0.5 x is equal to 20 over root 3. So now we can take this x and plug it into this equation for y. So let's copy it down, and in the place of the x, we're going to plug in 20 over root 3. And then this square can go to the top and the bottom of the fraction. So we have 20 squared over root 3 squared. 20 squared is equal to 400, and root 3 squared is 3. And now let's simplify inside of the square root. We need this 100 to have a common denominator, so we're going to change the 100 into a 300 over 3. 
and that's going to make this a single fraction. 400 minus 300 is equal to 100. So now we have a square root of a fraction, so we can distribute the square root to the top and the bottom. And square root of 100 is equal to 10. So we now know what y is when x prime is equal to 0. 0.5. It's approximately 5.77. So let's update the y up here to 5.77 kilometers. Since the y depends on a rate of one kilometer per minute, if we went 5.77 kilometers, that means we went 5.77 minutes. And that is the answer to our question. The exact instant that the rate was half a kilometer per minute was at 10 root 3 over 3 minutes, approximately 5.77 minutes. And that did occur between the interval of 5 and 6. And let's put a box around it. How exciting. If you guys want to try more related rate problems, I have this page on andymath.com. I'll put a link in the description.